Okay, so if um, if you're a watch snob, you're probably not watching this video. This thing you saw the uh, title. This is a, a re review of a watch I acquired a little while ago. It, it's a Parnas. It's a homage to the to the um, Rolex uh, Golf Master GMT Golf Master. And uh, I mean, it's it's not a a, a knockoff because they're you know they're not they're not copying they're not trying to pass it off as as a Rolex it is what you would call a true homage, um, but you know I'm probably not gonna ever really uh, see myself spending um, the money for a Rolex, you know I I'd like nice watches I you know if I had the money just to to, uh, to blow I I would probably get one I'm not gonna lie but. Uh, yeah, I mean, right now it's like you know what that would just really stretch my expenses and and, and wouldn't allow me to buy too much else, uh, toy wise for the year. But uh, so I picked this up. I saw a review online. I thought it, uh, I I saw the torture test where somebody was tossing this thing off a bridge, put it in the freezer, um, in a sub zero freezer overnight, froze the thing solid, still worked. Tossed it off of a a, a bridge, landed in some gravel, still worked. Uh, ran it over with a truck. He finally didn't break it, but it, it, sure, it sure took some doing. Um, but anyway, let's just take a look at it. I mean, it's it's a lot of watch for a, a little money. This is a, the Parnas model P101506. Like I said, it, it is a homage watch to, to the to the uh, the Rolex. It uh, very obviously very similar size and shape. Uh, this thing runs a uh, 40 millimeters um, without the uh, on, on the on the face, but without the um, dial um crown sorry I, I lost track of thought there it ha it has a sapphire crystal with that magnifying window the face is a real nice deep uh black i mean it's black as black can be it really it really looks good it has a ceramic bezel insert with a sapphire crystal it's um, screw down crown, hacking and winding, and an automatic movement. Um, I'm not sure what movement they use, uh, if it's in house movement or what, but you can hear that it winds pretty smooth. Uh, like I said, it is hacking. You stop the, stop the second hand there and then adjust. Um, does a real good job too when, when, when the date rolls over. Uh, you know, some of my Seikos, uh, the, on the 7S26 movement and, and, um, you know, it just, you know, how the day and date, the, the day kind of lags. This one just snaps really nice right at midnight. Um, so this cool. Nice, uh, good, good solid clicks. Very, very little play. There's a little bit of play there, but very little. It's just a really quality piece. I mean, for for the money in a stainless steel case, um, pretty decent bracelet on it, solid end links, um, real nice clasp. Look at that clasp. That's um, you know, it's polished. It's got some some little decor uh, pattern uh, buffed in there. I mean, it's it's a nice. Quality. You know, this thing was only gosh, how much did I pay for this thing? Um, One hundred twenty bucks. Yeah, let me find my notes on that. I paid no less than a hundred bucks. It's like ninety five dollars on uh, on Amazon. I mean. Dude, this is a this is a nice watch. It feels good. It's got good weight. Um, screw down crown. Thir uh, Thirty meter water resistant. Um, I mean, just geez, man, I tell you, I think it's just stunning. It just looks good. You know, it's it looks a lot like the Rolex. And of course, there's a you know this. You know, Rolex, um, pretty much the, the, the watches and, and this pattern design. Uh, you know, I think Rolex set the bar on it, and there's a lot of watches out there that look a lot like it, same coloration, same configurations. Um, but uh, you know, this one, 
you know, you know, I said I saw a couple of reviews on it, and I, I wanted to pick one up, but I just want to, like, you know, I'm not going to go into you know any more detail on it really, because like I said, there's there's some there's some pretty good reviews out there on it, um, but I just want to throw in my two cents, you know, I, uh, geez, I mean, honestly, for a hundred bucks, it's a good looking watch, man. It feels good, you know, it, you know, it, it's it's nice enough to where like, wow, I'm, I don't want to I don't want to mark it up, I don't want to bang it up, I don't, you know, I don't want to wear it to work and, and damage but it's like you know what it's only 100 bucks <laughs> you know i mean you can get quite you know quite a few of these uh before before and, and, and not to spend uh rolex kind of money anyway that's it's a thir oh, 13 mil thick so it, it is it is kind of thick let me give you a quick uh, wrist shot here if i can pop up the only thing is oh, this band look oh i had to squeeze it over my hand I don't know why. I mean, it, I took out. I think I took out one or two lengths when I got it, but um, only has two micro adjustments. I don't know where I got it set, but I might have to. I might have to loosen it up a little bit. It's probably a little bit tighter than I than I normally like it. But I tell you guys, this is just a um, nice piece for a little bit of money. Anyway, if you you know if you're looking for something uh, this design wise. With with this uh, the the golf master look without the golf master price tag, uh, like I said, there's a lot of different ones out there, but uh, I I think this is pretty much a steal. I mean, sapphire glass, ceramic ceramic insert, nice heavy duty clasp, solid end links, nice bracelet, not a very noisy bracelet at all. I mean, it's just well, this is just design. Um, the oyster design is pretty quiet in general but i mean if, if you're looking to buy one December without the rolex i mean this is the one I, i'm really happy with it i, I could i'd highly recommend it if you're thinking about you know you know getting something in, with this design and like i said not you know you're not ready to take the jump to spend thousands of dollars on a rolex um this would be a good one this would be a really good choice guys anyway that's it I, a quick quick little um thoughts thoughts and opinions on this one i like it uh, highly recommend it, guys. Talk to you on the next one.